And this is for you. There you go. Look at this dumpster. I kind of want to dive in it. In the YouTube algorithm, the people are represented by three separate yet equally important groups. The one that creates, the one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These are the stories. Okay, so I'm not coming on here to... Uh, actually, I wasn't going to go live like all day. I was going to take today off because I'm just so fed up with everything and everybody, honestly. So, this is for you, Natter and Dee Dee, if you don't shut the F up about me. I swear, shut the F up about me. Don't ever talk about me ever again. You are pathetic. You look like a loser. Because you need to talk about me for views. It's so obvious. Like, what are you even mad about? What are you mad at me for? For paying your rent? And giving you things? Like, you look hella fucking like a, a huge asshole. Giving me shit and making fun of my underwear. When you had your face all up in my ass crack. Just a couple of weeks ago. And now you're making fun of my underwear for views. You have no respect for women. That's all you're showing. You're disgusting. And Dee Dee, how you can support that at your age, you're disgusting. After everything you've heard, everything you've heard him put me through, you're going to defend him and put a cigarette out on, out on him, him in my face, him in my face, him grabbing my face, him hiding my keys, him ki basically kidnapping me. And I don't mind telling your probation officer that either. I don't mind. Because I'm sick of your shit and I want you gone from my life. And I don't want you to hurt other women. I'm done with you. I know you think it's a game and you think it's funny. Honey, it's not. I woke up and I'm done with your shit. And you better leave me alone. And don't ever talk about me ever again. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. And then this is, and then you have the nerve to make fun of my house. Your house is disgusting. Your house is disgusting. Don't even go there. Don't make me talk. Don't make me talk. Because I'm better at it than you. You think you're better at everything. You aren't going to win this one. You're not going to win this one with me. Absolutely, absolutely not. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. You're not going to fuck win with me because I have a lot on you and you've done a lot of illegal shit okay you're a liar where's Ashley you have the nerve to talk shit about me holding the iPad I'm still paying for you low life you and Dee Dee low life if you don't want me to keep talking like this then you better shut up about me don't ever talk about me you're disgusting and anyone with half a brain cell can see that yeah, Dee Dee, according, apparently, that means you don't have a brain cell. So stay mad, keep wearing my dirty slippers, enjoy the trap house. And yes, he was on speed, because you know what? I took that bottle of Cialis full of speed, and I shot it down the long road. So what are you doing now? Hmm? Yeah. Also, yeah, he used to want to do Cialis all the time, because he's a sex addict. Sex addict. Disgusting, perverted sex addict. That's what you are. So stop acting like you're innocent because everyone with a brain knows you're not. Who's the victim? Me or Natter? Really? Next, this week's cooking session is with friggin' Nat Roman is canceled as well. Yeah, I don't support transphobia. I am an LGBT advocate. I love gay people and I love trans people. He was hiding them, yeah. And he lied to me about it. No deals happens at the outhouse except for a big shit. What's my opinion on Roman's transphobic comments? I don't agree with him at all. They actually surprised me. <laughs> they actually surprised me, to be honest. Um, the whole live stream actually surprised me. So I actually blocked him. 
I don't know. I just find it like a turn off a little bit. Like, so I'm just done. I'm just done like talking to the guy. I'm just like, I'm tired. I'm not talking to another guy like at all in like for a while. Stop platforming. I know. Like, I get nothing out of this, and I'm like, like I'm going like out for these people. Like, why? And then, but he texted me. He's like, I just. I hope you don't mind about my live stream. I just wanted, like, it bothers me that people say bad things about you. And I wanted to try to give you a good image. Excuse me, I don't need a savior. My image is bad and I like it that way. Thank you very much. Sorry, I am not going to waste my time on a guy who's not going to come on here and call me beautiful and I'm the best and everything. Sorry, not going to happen. So stop talking about me. Stick to your stupid effing... Ghetto Gatno, stupid cooking shows. I'm completely. You come on here with Dee Dee. Uh, Dee Dee. <laughs> yes, Nanner. Yeah, the Lockma does look like her. Her underwear is so big. Let me try them on. I just want to be like her. I'm wearing her slippers. <laughs> Countable Beauty? I didn't know that was a fucking quizette. No, I didn't, Al. I challenge L to say I'm gonna block L for good. I fucking hate L. He can sell my stuff. I don't care if he's selling my stuff. I don't care about that. He's gonna need the money. He's a fucking bum. And give me the money back for everything I bought you. Everything I bought you. Do you want me to list everything I bought you? Do you want me to show the text messages of you asking me for money? So then you better shut your mouth. Because you haven't seen the ugly side of me. And don't make fun of my looks, because you look like Gargamel. You're hideous. You're gonna make fun of me when there's an uglier woman sitting right beside you? Really? Are you kidding me? Is that your grandma asking me for $2,000 a month to sleep with you? I know it might not work out between us for a relationship. You're crazy. You can't handle it. But but I know you like forever. iPad rescue is just Rebecca. No, I don't. You think I want STDs and friggin' uh, everything, uh, bacterial infections every week? And yes, I have strep B and bacterial vaginosis. I was holding back on the bacterial vaginosis because I might have slept with Roman. But now that that's off the table, I have bacterial vaginosis. And I don't care. And I'm not ashamed. And I don't give a fuck. And I'm not hiding myself for any man ever again. <laughs> no, I didn't sleep with Roman. I didn't. Because I'm not sleeping with men on the first date anymore. I'm doing things different this time. I'm respecting myself. And plus, I'm not going to sleep with a guy if I don't even know what I have. Like, I'm going to, like, not go from one partner to another. Because I respect people. You know what? I respect people, okay? I don't, I don't sleep with strangers bareback. And then possibly go and sleep with somebody else. Yeah, his channel will die as soon as the drama ends. And he will be back to being a line cook. Chopping up hundreds of onions. So that's it. I don't even want to come live today. I'm tired of everything. If he sells that ring, I can go after him. I can't- I could go after him for a lot of shit. He doesn't even realize. He's cocky. He sits there cocky. Ooh, I'm the best. I'm the best. Worship me, Chef El Shami. And then Didi. He needs Didi to fucking stroke his disgusting peen. And Ego sitting beside him. Fuck. You look pathetic and you don't even realize it. What the fuck are you doing with this loser? Repo the iPad. I'm gonna call them and be like, uh, yeah, it's stolen. What can I do? Yeah, he can have my stuff. I don't care. I, I honestly don't care about my stuff at all. At all. I can buy myself new stuff. Every time he thinks he's clever, he looks to Dee Dee for validation. I know he'll go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then he'll go. <laughs> <laughs> and look over at Dee Dee. <laughs> butthead, Beavis and Butthead over there. Yeah, I still have to pay on the iPad. <laughs> oh my god! When did my life become a Jerry Springer episode? I want nothing to do with him. I want him to shut up about me it's but i feel shit enough i gave him a platform and yes i gave you your platform no one's gonna watch you without any without knowing who you are 
you moron. You think people just, ooh, look, a natural chamois on YouTube. Yay. The moment we've all been waiting for. That guy who used to work at a restaurant in Montreal. Who gave me an STD. <laughs> Didi bought the pants. Good, because you have two fucking shirts. So you need more clothes. There you go. I meant that I didn't want you to show him on YouTube because of his teeth. I don't know. Probably. For, uh, yeah, he didn't want to show him. Nashi, I hope we have a throuple dueling live stream you not are in Roman. No, I'm tired of fucking parasitic people. No, but if he doesn't, I will fucking take legal action against him, Charlotte. If he doesn't shut up about me and keeps harassing me online and degrading me, trying to degrade me, I will go to his probation officer and tell them everything. So you better shut your disgusting, crooked mouth, okay? And stop making fun of me because your new girlfriend has Donald Trump comb over. So f*** the both of you. Didn't I spend months talking about him online? Yeah, because he's an abusive piece of crap and he deserves it. They're bullying this should be reported. He's just a piece of crap, abusive piece of crap. Do a cease and desist order and let's watch his tank afterwards. I should do that. I know. He thinks he's funny doing the same thing over and over. Let's make fun of her underwear. Like, you look like... You you look disgusting. What kind of real man... Like, your mother must be so f proud of you. Like, honestly, if I was your mother, I would be disgusted in you. You're disgusting. You're f***ing disgusting. You make fun of women. You don't respect women. I don't even know... Usually people who respect their mothers like that actually respect women. You don't. You're disgusting, and you're misogynistic, and you're abusive, and you're a psychopath. I don't even know how to send a cease and desist. How do I do that? Through a lawyer? I should get a lawyer and, like, get him to shut up about me completely. I don't want you to- you're a creep. Like, you creep me out. After everything I heard about you, I don't even want you to, like, even say my name. You're disgusting. You're a creepy criminal. I literally- don't give a fuck if Didi's there or not. I have want nothing to do with fucking asshole. At all. And I want him to shut his fucking mouth. Cease and desist order needs to be top priority. He's not going to stop your name. Brings him the views. Alright, so if you talk even one word about me tonight, cease and desist order is in your future, pal. Trust me. Trust me. And don't worry. Just talk about me. No, Debbie can walk to Montreal. Fuck her. Not just that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, this is St. Hubert's. Comes in this box here. It's a rotisserie chicken place here. So, it, you always get... Hey, I need your gravy! Hold on. You, you didn't get me your gravy! I forgot the forks again. Well, I knew I had this up here for a reason. All right. Signature with St. Hubert's is they always give you a gravy and a bun. So like a bun and a gravy and coleslaw. They have really good coleslaw. And I get the fruity dip sauce and Diet Pepsi. All right. Tiff, Chantel, please, please read my comments. Stay away from that man. He's creepy and scary. He has something planned. I think he's a friend of Natter. Oh. <laughs> Roman? You guys think I was mean for blocking Roman? <laughs> Fuck! What's my life right now? If he talks about me tonight, I am. I'm gonna get a cease and desist. And that means, yes, I can't talk about him. I don't want to. This clown. This clown on his live stream. Me? I'm not better than anyone else. Think of me as low uh, compared to everyone else. We already do. The fucking nerve. These people need to be brought down a couple notches. So, I finally booked a trip. Um, I have the trip booked March 4th. I'm leaving on the Friday. 
And we're going to bees. For a weekend. We're going to club bees. Have you ever been to a club with me? Step away from the sport. Yes. Lime jello. Me too, Miss Hobbs, but knowing that or he won't go out. He won't go out. He won't fizzle. He'll go out with a fucking bang. Or he won't go anywhere. You have to wear gloves to touch my clothes. And really, for someone who's so disgusted by me, I sure have a lot of intimate clothing at your house. It's a fucking moron. You look like an idiot. You look like a, a double-faced liar talking about shit about me and my clothes. Then the ne next minute sleeping with me. And what came out of your penis is the cause of what's in my underwear that are at your house. So laugh at me all you want. It's your gunk, not mine. You're a disgusting pig. More than me. Yeah, my money sure isn't gross, exactly. He did not change the alarm battery. He couldn't figure it out. Dee Dee looks worn out. No shit. Are you talking about Roman, uh, Tiff? Oh, yeah. Well, he lives with other people. Dude, she's definitely spending her money on him, yeah. I'm giving advice to Roman to run. What do you think I should tell women about you? I'm the one who gave you a platform. I have to live with that now for the rest of my life. Nope. No job. She blames me for having no job either. See that? She told me to stay home. Ladies, if your husband asked you to stay home and not work, what would he say? Okay. I know, I'm not yet. She has a nice apartment. I don't know why she would stay with him. No, I never offered him 2000 a month to be with him. He's full of shit. And then he's like, my exes. Your exes are so wonderful, right? Like the ones you stabbed? And then he's like, my exes. Your exes are so wonderful, right? Like the ones you stabbed? Keep shooting yourself in the foot. Maybe I'll be friends with Samantha too. Oh. Why is there a hole in my finger? Do you think I was too mean to Roman? Do you think I should unblock him? I woke up crabby. I watched his stream and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I forgot about the comment. The transphobe comment. That was the first thing that was like, what? When I heard that, I was like, what? But the thing, too, guys. Unleash the Beezers? No. Well, not right now. <laughs> Cutie didn't like you. We are big supporters of LGBTQ here. Absolutely! <laughs> and you don't have to. Uh... Yeah, no, sorry. I, I just, no. You have to. You have to accept it if you're going to be with me. For sure. Fucking right. And not just that. <coughs> Excuse me. I hate the fucking convoy. And number two, you want some tea? But this is all I'm gonna say. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so I'm not in a relation. I was never in a relationship with Roman or anything. But we did make out. <laughs> we made out. <laughs> I don't care if anybody knows. Too fucking bad. We made out. I'm tired of these guys being, like, secretive about it. Too fucking bad. <laughs> yes, and Kiwi was attacking me. I'm gonna try to. And. I kept my composure. And said no to sex. I'm a really good person. I'm just joking. He's gonna fucking hate me. I cannot have any boyfriends. The next boyfriend I have has to be completely okay with being online. I need to date a famous YouTuber. 
<laughs> Can we smell the BB? <laughs> Shut up. Stop BB shaming me. It happens, fuck. Actually, I can remember the exact moment I got BV. I'm pretty sure. Excellent party! <laughs> I'm going very slow with people that I meet. You want to get in between these legs? You gotta, you gotta earn it. For real. That's it. You guys are right. I'm not giving this clam up for free. The seafood's fresh. I thought you made out with him. No, nope, just kissing. It's a May. Chantal for real. Isn't it disability shaming when you have no care for people with disabilities who can't get the shot? Being treated like a second class citizen? The No, people who can't is different. You're telling me everyone at that convoy can't get the shot? Fupa man, Fupa man, does whatever a Fupa can. <laughs> look out, look out, it's Fupa man. In the heat of the night. At the scene of the crime. She's so gross. Ugh, yeah, your underwear, yeah. My underwear were ick, but you were just touching them. You just had all your fingers inside me, freaking asshole. I don't get- I don't get this guy. Like, you're gonna make fun of my vagina, or my underwear, or my body, and call me fat? He, he holds up my lingerie and asks, has the nerve to ask Didi. What size is this? Are you kidding me? Do you not- are you fucking- you're asking a, an obese 60 year old woman about the size of another obese fucking 40 year old woman's size? Like, what's your problem? Like, oh my god. <clears throat> I'm worried about your own size. I remember the small at fucking Tommy Hilfiger buying your Tommy Hilfiger tracksuit. Size small. Yeah. He's going to sell it to his perp. Diana, freaking freaking weirdo. His 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 desperate Debbie friggin' members who hate me but watch everything I do. Because they have the first things to report to him for brownie points. Girl Scout cookies! Mr. Shammy, I have something! Pick me! Jennifer Corvina! Mm -mm. Oh, fucking bitch. Being a celebrity is hard. You always have to worry about the ulterior motives of people. I'm just kidding. I think Roman's a really, really, really nice guy. But I... Yeah, I'm not down with the, the transphobia for sure and I have other, just other things beyond that that uh, I just um, I don't know cloak chasing yeah <clears throat> I know you guys hate edibles it's just If I'm honestly asking you, honestly, do you think you could deal with Natter being sober? Seriously. I don't even know what the fuck he's gonna do. Yeah, I still am dealing with Natter. You think it just, just cause it just magically everything goes away? <laughs> I'm still dealing with a lot of fallout. <clears throat> it's just kind of weird, like... Um, he's like, do you think Chantal's the victim or Natter's the victim? I'm like, what? Natter a victim? And that like really f like hit home for reality for me that like... And I knew, I knew it. I knew that whenever I took him back, every time I, t t the first, first, first time after, I'm like, people are going to, this is going to make my story less credible. So I was like, you know what I mean? And then people are going to start like sympathizing with him and everything. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, Walla, did I ask, did I, did I ask, like, did I, does I deserve him to hit me? Is that what you're saying? I don't get it. Matter comes across as a guy who got beat up a lot until he realized he can bully women. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> this whole not already situation is bizarre. I know, Kelsey, it's so weird. It, it's just so weird. <sighs> no, Epic, he's just keeping her there. Giving her some bullshit sob story. Because he can't be alone. Can't be without a woman, but he's such a big man. It's... It, 
floors me that people even still believe him after he lied about Ashley existing. They believe him about Toronto too, as if I would lie about that. I'm sure your underwear are not any sexier, doo-doo. I'd bet a million on it, and yours aren't either, natter. I'm dying for her to leave, and I'm dying for him to leave with her, yeah. I would not give anything to go back there. I would never, ever, 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 ever want to be in that place ever again. It's the most depressing, soulless, fucking exhausting, exhausting experience ever. And why did I go? Because it took me a long fucking time to figure out who he really was. Because through all his manipulations and all his lies. Like, remember, we couldn't even go look at a house together. So if we're not supposed to be together, if we're not together, why would we go and look at houses together? He's so fucking apart from bullshit. Ugh. Anyway. Can't even go look at a house together without you getting jealous at the guy thinking, like, he's giving me his number. Like, what? The one that her went off on the other night. She didn't actually call his PO. I'm looking forward to this trip alone. I love these little trips by myself. I love them. And I'm never, ever, ever settling for... I'll tell you what kind of man I want, okay? I'm not settling for anything less. Never. I got time to wait because I got time to work on myself. I'm working on myself. I got time to wait. Good sense of humor, but not silly. Not like Pete Davidson silly. Oh my fucking God. I am like Kim Kardashian. Okay. So this is the thing here. Now, this is why I'm like Kim Kardashian. I am just starting to follow this whole Pete Davidson and Kanye West situation. Okay. What the actual fuck? Like, <laughs> sorry. I'm like Kim Kardashian. I totally understand her. I get Kim. I feel Kim. Kim, I feel you. Kanye West is a fucking. Kanye West, you can. I just know. Now that I know what narcs are like, and I know you guys have called me one, I'm not one. I can see why you think that. But I'm not one. Close, but not one. But now that I know what narcs are like, I can recognize them. Kanye West is one. Am I right? Peppermint Patty. Chantal didn't leave. Didi came. She wants to be there. Didi came and did me a favor. Because you know what? Yes, I probably would have gone back. But Didi did me a favor. Didi did me a favor. Didi did me a favor. E -e -e. Okay. She Ken went from being with this fucking narc guy who... Kanye, Kanye West doesn't look like he could crack a joke for the fucking life of him. This energy-sucking life force in her life. Has four kids with this guy. Maple Moon, you are more yay, just saying. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. I understand. So, it's like, because everyone's like, why does she, why, why in the hell would keep Kim Kardashian go out with someone like Pete Davidson? Because once you're with, like, for me, meeting someone like Roman was like, oh, like, lighthearted, fun, soft, like, you know, she, she's having a, the time of her life with Pete. Like, he's funny. He's absolute opposite of yay. So, I could totally get it. Like, I totally understood where she was coming from. It's like a breath of fresh air, meeting someone goofy, meeting someone fun, meeting someone... You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> Nader always seemed like he was going to explode. No kindness. He does. You guys don't see on his live streams every time you just mention something that m remotely pisses him off. Remember when he said, Then shut up and leave! You know Kim's children with Kanye are going to be such brides, of course. Just no footy beauty started it this time. I started what? No, he did. He fucking started it last night. Trying to humiliate me with my clothes and stuff. Wearing gloves. Like... You're gonna wear gloves? <laughs> but, okay, you have no problem touching me any other day. Do you think I'll ever meet that person? I mean, like, soulmate. Do you believe in soulmates? I really want to believe in soulmates. Where did the idea of soulmates come from? What time is it? 7.45. Why does it feel like it's been 6? Between 6 and 7. Hi, sweetie! For hours and hours. Oh my god. I... I'm so depressed. I'm so depressed. An Italian footlong. <laughs> Sexy story times. I have some to tell on my OnlyFans.
Enjoy your own company too. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> we need more badges. I know, I know. I'm gonna work on that. I have. I took some pictures. I, I am glad I took a picture of the tantalizing turkey treat bag. I thought to take a picture of it. <laughs> no, not tonight, Tiffany. I want to get these off. Spill some tea and exposure bees. Yes, money forever. Girls' night would be fun. So tell us how we should do what the rest of us do. Go down the pub, get blasted, sing some sad songs at karaoke, and then go home with the short security guard. <laughs> What's the survey? No, I'm going to... Uh, I can't wait for that trip. It's going to be so fun with you guys. We're going to bees. Alright, guys. I'm kind of tired. Hey, Curly. I might be back. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what you see, please buy my merch. Link in the description below.